being close to being blown out as you can ever get. So what, what do you remember about that? Um, I think I just remember our fight as a team. Um, I think I was telling one of the other reporters, like, we didn't, all the shots weren't going in. You know, everything wasn't as, I guess, effortless as it normally is for us. And so I think for us to be able to just kind of fight through that and, and still be able to pull out the win um, was really cool and to be a part of one and just for us to see as a team that, like, we can do that. We can, we've sort of faced every situation, um, and so most games, like, it, you know, we're, we start off high or we don't start off high, but then shots start falling. But in that game, it seemed like, you know, jump shots weren't really falling, different things like that, but we were still able to find a way to win. And so I think that that was really pivotal for our team to just see that and, and kind of have that up our sleeve as our experience. People talk about UConn, all the great talent they have. How important is it to show, hey, look, we're not just talented players, but we've got that fire inside that even when our backs are against the wall, we're, we're going to show you how much fight we have. Yeah, I think it's really important. Um, I think talent can only get you so far, so when you have that sort of that edge or that, that fight in you, it, it kind of takes it an extra step, and I think that's what makes us really special as a team. How hard is the balancing act here? I'm standing here with your teammates with your books out. How hard is it to balance books and, and study while you're trying to win a championship? Yeah, it's really hard, um, but I think that the program does a good job of just making sure that we have the tools to be successful. And so um, it's hard, but it's not undoable. Um, you know, we find different times, different ways. We're sitting around in here when you guys aren't here, but we got our books out. Um, we have study hall on the road and stuff like that, so that helps us to be successful. One of the storylines tomorrow night is about the rivalry. I mean, it's been going on a long time, but yeah. is this the best rivalry in women's basketball? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> what is it about it that makes it so good? I think just the history and tradition. Like you said, it's been going on for a long time, and um, there's been a lot of great players in this rivalry and, and different things like that, and two of the greatest coaches um, in women's basketball going head-to-head. -head. So um, I think that just adds richness and tradition to you know, what this game is. And the challenge on Friday night of playing. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that a little bit. How hard are they going to be? Yeah, they're going to be hard. I think um, we know them pretty well. They know us pretty well. And so it's just going to be one of those games where, you know, we got to kind of battle it out, um, see who's ready to go. Um, and like I said, we know them pretty well. It's not like a team that we haven't really seen before or don't know. Um, we faced them before, um, and we, we know their personnel. They know our personnel. And so it's just going to be about, you know, exploiting those different mismatches and stuff like that and being able to find a way to win. This team has, well, close to now, five players with 100 assists on this team. I think he needs one more. What's it like to be on a team that passes the ball so well and so many people do it well? Yeah, um, it's really exciting. I think um, I think it just speaks to this team and, and one of the many aspects that makes us um, a great program because, you know, not every team has players that are as great as we have that are willing to pass. Um, a lot of players are, tr are in it for themselves, but I think that just speaks to this program and just the core values that we have as a program um, and that we really are a team. We're really trying to set each other up. It's not about one specific player. Um, and I think even with the South Carolina game, you know, Crystal was hot that night. We were, we were feeding <laughs> We were feeding her the ball, um, and that's kind of what happens on any given night. Whoever's kind of hot, we're trying to give them the ball, give them the ball, um, without making it too pressure on, too much on them. But we do a really good job of just trying to set up whoever's feeling it that night. Was it kind of jaw dropping to see nine of ten drop in the first half from long distance? <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, it's really cool to see that, especially you know the shots that Crystal had. I think because she just does a good job of setting everyone else up, and so it was really cool for um, for me to see just her kind of have a game of her own where. She was just feeling it, and we were setting her, her up for a change. And she likes SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> what did you Thanks. learn from last Thanks. year? Obviously, you were on the bench as a transfer student last year. What did you learn just from the national semifinal last year? Um, I think just being ready to go. I think um, really making sure that your mind frame and mindset is ready to go, especially at this time of the year. Um, and you know, there's no time to sort of get into the groove. From the minute the buzzer starts, you know, you got to be ready to bring it. Um, and so I think that's something that we were able to see um, setting off, but especially the team, I think that's something that we, we learned. Is there more excitement is your first one as a player? Oh, definitely. Um, I think I was excited last year, but it, it's just a different type of excitement knowing that you'll actually be able to play in the game and, um, you know, actively be a participant in it. So um, it's definitely been an exciting couple of days so far. And with that excitement, it's easy to compartmentalize with the team and be, okay, in about five minutes you're going out to practice. Yeah. And then, okay, the excitement's over. We're here for – you have you guys have a goal. You said it at the beginning of the year. There's only one goal. Yeah, yeah. I think um, that's something that just is in our minds as players, you know. When we're here, there's so much media, there's all these fun different activities and things like that, but when it's time to practice, you know, I think 
so far we've done a good job of just getting our work done and, and that's what it's all about so the court's almost like a sanctuary yeah getting away bit. from all this hectic media and all this stuff <laughs>